Hello Virgos, how are you guys? I hope you're doing really well. We're going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo. So this is a general reading. Whatever comes through this reading, I will relate to you. I see it, hear it, feel it, know it. And the cards are here so that you have a visual effect. But I hope that most of you are just listening to the messages that come out for us. So let's take a look and see what's coming in for a beautiful sign of Virgo. We have the Ten of, of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So the Ten of Pentacles is a great way to start the week off. And this is your weekly reading. So this is recorded on the, what, the 18th of January. <laughs> I forgot what date it was. The 18th of January. And the Ten of Pentacles is being very, very grounded. This is an abundance coming into you. Prosperity is coming your way. All of the hard work and effort that you put into something is getting ready to pay out. And it's being held tightly uh, near you, ready, like in a bank, in a fund, in a, a grant, in a big project that's getting ready to open up. And once it opens up, that Ace of Pentacles comes and you're just going to have these Pentacles coming in at a very rapid speed. The Ace of Wands is saying this is something part of your personal journey. And we're looking at you right here and we're going to pull in the detail and we'll look at anybody else that may be attached to this, whether it's romance or friends, even career. This is your beautiful moment to shine, to take on that excitement of what you've been working so hard to do, the Eight of Pentacles that precedes this 10, that's what we're talking about. So you're probably feeling like it's coming, it's getting time. But with the Ace of Wands, this is moving forward in a brand new opportunity and a brand new path. So if you've been indecisive about something that you've been putting a lot of energy and effort, they're saying make a wise decision based on your emotions and your mental clarity. Put a blindfold on and walk through your home and you will know without a doubt what direction to turn. So when we close our eyes and we follow our spiritual path, that's when we can see, without seeing, we can see these pentacles coming in. So you've got something really beautiful getting ready to happen. Now, for some of you, this is about family. It's 100% about family. The pentacles in the Ten of Pentacles indicates that family unit coming to a big, um, I'm hearing the word conclusion. Okay, so if you've been at odds in a family situation, you may find yourself doing something a little bit differently and the results are going to come in tenfold of what you thought they were in a positive positive direction so let's look at the detail well there you go you got the ten of pentacles again and here's what i'm talking about the grounding of a family this is the family unit this is a family you most likely grew up in for some of you it may be your own children your family that you created this is that moment where you are all going to become on the same page. So if you've been on the outs with somebody, they're saying you've done something wonderful that's shifting the energy. You can't see it, but you probably can feel it. So do, do the research when it comes to anything that needed to be done in a project or especially with a family. Now we have the emperor and this is about your beautiful moment to become empowered in this situation. By taking the Emperor with this Ace of Wands, they're saying you have everything in you to become a success, particularly when it comes to a career. For some of you, this isn't about family. It's not even about you directly, although you have everything to do with the creation of your life, with manifesting in your own world. This Emperor is saying that you are going to come in and be very grounded. You know exactly what to do. So it's just reiterating what I already said for you, Virgo. Now, for some of you, this is a person that you're dealing with. And the Emperor is a very wise individual. That emperor energy can be also very, very stubborn. They've been through so much in life, and typically they're an elder of a family unit. They've been through so much that they understand without even knowing, without even looking, they understand what needs to take place next. So this could represent a father, a mother, a grandparent on some level, where you are going to reconcile differences. But for a lot of you, I feel you're picking a path. Do you follow the traditions of what you were taught when it comes to family? 
and and you're going to make a decision whether you want to do it that way or not but there is a lot of healing attached to those 10 of both of those 10 of pentacles this is having the ability to create prosperity in your financial sector as well as your overall family and friend part of life relationships in general so whoever this emperor which could be an aries for sure um, i feel that they come in in a very positive way if you're communicating with them then you're going to know whether or not this person is who you thought they were and that's going to help you make a decision as well so we have another 10, three tens. This is indicating you are getting ready to have a completion, completion of a project, a completion of a, a, a reuniting of a family situation. A lot of burden was put on this particular situation because of this individual right here. This individual, again, holds a lot of power around you, a lot of authority, a father, a mother, and they speak to people in a lot of different ways. They're very good at communicating. But also through them, I, I hear the word bark, like barking orders, <laughs> not like barking of a dog, but barking orders that may have been put a, a lot of burden on you, where you were following their rules, their way. And it may have led you into this crossroad within yourself, being triggered into the spiritual journey of self reflection, analyzing, to know whether or not you should listen to this person or not. Because in the upright, they are amazing. They are really amazing other than they're stubborn and they don't, they don't really want to change a whole lot. But in the reverse, man, this is one nasty, nasty person who knows how to really take their power and use it to their favor. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Everything you put into your project, into your situation, is getting ready to change. So in order to release some of the burden by looking online, if, if this is your business, hypothetically, if this is your business, I'm not being guided in these words, but if this were your, your own business that you're creating, you may need to look a little bit deeper. You may need to learn how to use the automated system. You know, when you talk to your, I don't want to say it because my phone will start talking to me, but when you call out the name of your cell phone uh, virtual assistant, they will help you to keep on track, to stay organized. This is very organized and this is a lot of burden. And in order to really rise into your own empowerment, it's, it's looking at how to change this situation. So we do have the moon card that is also with us, you guys. And the moon card is the secrets being exposed. But right now, Mercury is, is in retrograde. The planets are shifting and they are aligning. And this year, the year of 2022, is going to be an amazing year where the planets are going to do it in a different way. We actually, I believe, have four Mercury in retrogrades this year. We have different planet alignment, just like we did in 21 and the year of 2020. But this year will not be identical to those. Whatever's coming out right now, the feelings, the emotional bonding with this person or with this situation, you are literally going to let go of whatever's been burdening you and you're going to talk about it you're going to reveal it if they were lying to you or guiding you in the wrong way you're going to stand up and you're going to speak it so it's looking deep within so that you can create this ace of pentacles now remember you have two ten of pentacles over here and i did say in the beginning of your reading you are getting ready to receive a huge amount of prosperity family unity the bonding that you've been lacking and missing the secrets that help ha, held you back from achieving the prosperity that you wanted created a lot of burden for you for a lot of you i feel this is a business it's an actual business that you started now it could be a blog site a membership blog site i do feel writing is attached to it and even what I do right now for a living, writing is attached to it somehow, some way. Everything that's out there in, in the world has writing attached to it. But I feel it goes much deeper than just something like that. You know, this is like actually writing. And I am being guided to say it's a blog, a blog. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're confirming that it is a blog. And here we have the Empress. So this is pulling back your power and by revealing secrets or even your, your parents, grandparents, or you doing this with your own partner, you are going to create this new opportunity, Ace of Wands, and this is your passion. This is what I want to do. So having a conversation with your partner, because the burden is just too much, you just can't take it. And it's, even though they may be rigid and not willing to accept what you want to do, like if it were a paid blog, particularly in this reading, I'm picking that up. There, you're going to say, no, this is what I want to do. And you're going to pull back your own personal power. And when you do, there's the Ace of Pentacles. Now you're going to start achieving those goals that you wanted. And the prosperity is just going to come boom, 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 boom. So in a family dynamic, this is absolutely a situation where two people that you view in authority or they, you are in a partnership and one person is viewing this. Remember, it's a general reading, so it can be reversed. This can also be your partner situation or your own child and what they're dealing with. Somehow, some way, it has to do with our beautiful Virgo babies. This is you right here. This is you, male or female, standing in this beautiful, nurturing, self-loving, self-giving energy of knowing who to give to, what to give to them, and what not to give to them. So if somebody's been asking you to provide um, financial support, that's what I heard, financial support, you're going to know without a doubt whether they're using it for what they say, if there's any lies attached to it, you're going to look and you're going to help them based on the truth of what's going on in the situation. The truth will be revealed through Mercury and retrograde. Now the beauty about the retrograde period is it gives us an opportunity to take another look at a situation, at an experience. And yes, for some of us, it is a person. That doesn't mean you have to be with them, but it's reconciling in your own mind, analyzing and knowing how to pull back your personal power. Whatever was hidden is going to come through during this time. Now, again, we're going to have more periods of reconciling moments, family, a friend you haven't spoke to that, boof, back in 2019, they just cut you off, okay? The end of 2019, you haven't heard from them, you haven't seen them, and you don't know what happened. Out of the blue, they're going to be contacting you. So it's always uh, good to do the research and find out what you're dealing with. Everything here is leading to a completion of a cycle, a completion of a pattern. So let's see what you're dealing with as far as any challenges or adversities that may come into play during this time frame. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups, and that's that beautiful love. This is a big emotional bonding moment, like I said, with the Ten of Pentacles twice, the Ten of Pentacles twice. This is that moment for anything that uh, if when it comes to love itself, and we're doing a love reading on Wednesday the 19th. It'll be live, so I hope to see you there. Ace of Cups, clearing out anything that doesn't work so that you can open up your heart and finally receive. For those of you who have been single, single, and I am going to pull a romance card here in a moment. If you've been single, single, by actually doing what they're saying, cleanse out, heal that, and then open yourself back up, and recognizing that one person doesn't define the entire world. One person of a specific, and you see this a lot where people post, I don't like Aquarians, or I don't like uh, Scorpios, or you know whatever zodiac sign it is, because they had a situation with one or two people that were under that sign. But that doesn't mean everybody under that sign is like that. So it kind of encompasses the word all. Clear out all, everything and open yourself up to something brand new. This Two of Pentacles is saying you'll keep yourself in balance. And some of you, I'm telling you, if you're single, you've got a brand new person coming in. This is a moment for you to recognize that this emotional bonding is going to be different than what you've ever experienced before. You've gone through a transformation in your life. You've changed. You are not the same person you were back in 2019. 
a lot of us have and there are billions of people still going through this journey and some are just entering into it now which is why i use the word groups right but for this particular group you've already done all of this work and this is a transformative energy this week where you're going to find that things are going to fall into place for you you're probably going to want to cry you're going to want to weep male or female it's like cleansing so allow yourself to 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 release anything that's shoved down and repressed and if you need help with that you can go to my website ascendingsouljourney.com that's what i do i help people open up their heart open up their heart chakras open up all their chakras and allow the spiritual knowing and the spiritual supposed to have in your path the destiny come through that's what this is taking place this week now the obstacle is to overcome that pain that's associated with the ace of cups but because we have the ace of cups here it should not be a big burden on you by talking about it by revealing the secrets through the cards in the, in behind these three you're you're going to be almost there almost completely done and again the end of the week you're going to feel like a brand new person rejuvenating your energy is going to help you overcome anything that you're going through this two of pentacles is staying in balance so if you have a job opportunity coming in that triggers you into something that you've already thought you've healed that it reminds you of your first job where you met your ex <laughs> okay something like that you're going to know okay that's not them that's not them and you're going to transform the energy into your favor you have the ace of wands the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups all I can say is this is an amazing week for some of you where the transformation is going to take place and no longer will you ever feel any pain of anything that was done or said by another person or remember the old experience in that negative form. It's more about those lessons that you've learned. So it's an incredible week for some of you. Now I'm going to pull a Romance Angel card and we're going to see whatever's coming in for you guys. And again, I hope you're staying healthy and you're doing well. A lot of people are feeling a little weepy right now. And I urge all my clients, including every one of you that watch this video, to let that come through. Just let it flow. Let it come through. And you're going to see an amazing thing take place. Transformation forgiving and learning which is what i've just spoke about through this whole section of the possible challenges no more will you be restricted no more will you be feeling what used to be you've changed and you've grown and wow what an amazing difference you've become in your own life so virgos i hope that you have an amazing week Please thumbs up this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and watch us on the live segment. Much love.